My name is Maryam Al Khawaja, and I'm a human rights activist from Bahrain. <clears throat> I want you to all picture with me a country in which a few years ago, when one person spoke out and said that the Prime Minister of Bahrain is responsible for the economic problems in Bahrain, he was arrested that night and put in prison for two and a half months. Just a few months ago, people were in the Pearl Roundabout, and they were saying things like, down with the regime, like, down with the king, and they were speaking freely. Now you can imagine where we were and where we have become. Inside the roundabout, there were different things happening. You had a part of the roundabout where people were making paintings. You had a part of the roundabout where there was a small gathering for children who were creating paintings saying, I love Bahrain. In other parts, we had a stage that, there was a stage that was put up and people were singing. There was poetry that was read. Ayat al Qarmazi is a young woman from Bahrain who's 20 years old. She decided to write a poem about the uprising. And she read this poem in front of the protesters at Pearl Square. Sh um, Ibrahim Sharif is a liberal Sunni man who's the president of the National Action Democratic Society. He's a man who called for a constitutional monarchy, and he was one of the heroes that led a group of young men back to the roundabout after people were taken out violently. Ali al-Akri, Dr. Ali al-Akri, was, was a doctor who defied orders from the Minister of Health saying that he is not allowed to treat injured from the protests. Uh, what happened after that was that the government cracked down brutally on the roundabout. I was there myself and I saw how it happened. Um, the way that they attacked people, one young man, Ali al-Mu'min, who was right there with us when we were trying to get away, going through from village to village, trying to get away from the roundabout as we were being attacked by the riot police from all sides. He decided to go back because he heard there were women and children um, sleeping in the tents who needed to be to help to be helped uh, to get out. And when I went to the hospital later that day, I saw him lying in a hospital bed, and he had two cuts down his legs, which caused him to bleed out before he was brought to the hospital. And this caused his death later on. Ali was a university student. And the question, the question that I want to ask today is where are they? Ayat al-Qurmazi, she went into hiding and her family was threatened that if they do not give up where she was, her location, that their children would be killed one by one in front of the parents until they give up her location. So her parents gave her up. They still don't know where she is. Ibrahim Sharif is currently being tried as a terrorist in Bahrain in a military court. Dr. Ali Al-Akri is also being tried in Bahrain for saying that he um, did not practice his oath as a doctor. My father is a prominent human rights activist who is known internationally for speaking out and criticizing the Bahraini government and their human rights violations. He was, a few days ago we found out that he was tortured severely while he was in detention. He's been in prison for about a month now. And he has four fractures on the left side of his face alone. And that's not mentioning the rest of his body. He is also currently undergoing a military trial as a terrorist with Ibrahim Sharif. Unfortunately, in Bahrain, anyone who speaks out, defends human rights, says uh, we want human rights or freedom, is seen as a terrorist or having a pro-Iranian agenda. My last question to you today is, where is Ali Abdel Imam? Open up your files your Freedom Forum files. He's right there on your papers. And my question to you is, where is he? Because we don't know. Thank you.